Okay, hello and welcome to another First Impressions vlog on a new cartoon killing, which is something I've been doing quite a bit <laughs> lately. Uh, this one should be rather quick because it's another one I don't have a lot to say about. And, um, to be honest, I probably shouldn't have really done this because I exactly don't care about it. I don't think of anything I'm sure going to come and go. I don't even care about it, but might as well. You know, but anyway. Today, we got Hotel Transylvania of Scary. You see, earlier, a few months ago, I think, they appeared probably with a chance to meet Bob of Scary, which is getting picked up a very basic animation movie, and I and they appeared for Taylor. And I got to figure why we have one mo show based on a Scary Picture movie, when we have two. This time on the Disney, Disney Channel, although this one, like a cloudy Canadian import, this one's from Nirvana. Uh, the other one, I believe, was DHX. Um, um, not playing people either in my thing, well, go. Not that kind of candy cartoon. But then I can't record AK only for Tools Round, so that kind of, um, you can additional voice, you know. Anyway, the cloudy, the cloudy show, uh, from the few episodes I saw, two half hours, eh. I went into detail on the journal, like, I'll talk about Bugs and the Beast and Dread Squeak Action, and Cloudy would just. It's the weakest of Wolfie show. It wasn't necessarily bad, but it do anything wrong, but anything really at right either. So, so okay, it's average. You know, and I feel like with the Cloudy movie, and uh, I mentioned that I do like both movies, and I feel like they have a potential that they couldn't quite take advantage. So, I'm a little worried going into this, although the TV plot definitely got me more interested because of the direction it's going to be going with it. Yeah, yeah, much like I mean, I do have to hold it to a convenient movie. May not quite a bunch of climbing ones. I don't love those climbing ones, but they are pretty good. And I like reading wow. as well, you know. Again, I am into that cartoon animation. Well, neither really a masterpiece or anything, or not something I highly recommend, but for fun kids, like, they're good. The kind of movie I good, but still good. And when I heard a big scary of it, I went, that makes sense, because the movie do all make me like, yeah, we can't get movie Becky with free TV up and can't dish together, uh, admittedly. And the first one is basically meant to be very much paying tribute to a lot of, like, old, old sort of cartoon, particularly in a movie form. Can I make a cartoon, which I think is totally fine. <laughs> you know, as long as you have, at least you can try to tell a story, and they did, you know. Currently more than uh, uh, the Minion movie did, which I recently had to watch for a thing I did on the blog. Whatever. Um... <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't got Minion for Scary yet. I, I, we should have it by now. Now we have four movies with them in it and no announcement. Like, nothing. We had two of showing movies and boom. And two client movies. Yeah. But, um. I got a third movie coming, I believe, next year or a year after that. Coming a couple years ago. Uh, but, um, we'll keep about that. Anyway, I think they kind of get to make a cartoon Scary out of coming that even more cartoons. Just Feature length. You know, um, and one thing I go, so after the, I'm the only going about the first half hour, another half hour hanging air because we're doing a bomb to premiere it. So I'm fine with it, it's a throwaway show, all it's meant to be. I think they're airing it because we got the right to it and they figured, why not? You know, it's gonna, gonna come and go. I feel like in about a month, don't really talking about it. A couple people have done a video on it, but that <laughs> really it. And there's only people who kind of like one like, man with Hango Fox. You should follow him pretty good, but he does kind of what I do, the front of the thing, but he does everything, and I just do what I feel like doing. He does Netflix so well, why well, I do not. I should probably start doing Netflix, like, cartoon period, I should really watch the for and keep there. You know, go for new Netflix cartoon premiere that is straight enough, uh, you know. I should watch Kamu DreamWorks one, they have so many of them, and I want to see one episode of the Peabody one, it's so good, pretty good. Um, I'm not itching to watch more of that show, but from the first episode, I liked it. Uh, that means I'll call out and watch Fortune on Legendary Trinity yet, uh, whatever, I'll get to it, but, uh, not. I'm really deep down, like, I have nothing to give a show other than, it was alright. Yeah, from the first half hour, it was alright. Two a minute, go, go, gosh, it, I do kind of wish I had more time, quite to watch the second half hour that Peter today, but because this is all that's available, not only yesterday when the show premiered, but also before, they, they put it on a YouTube channel, you know, and on the app or whatever, but just one episode, so we didn't go crazy there. <laughs> Do crazy there, so, to cut back once we be able to time, I figured that's all I should talk about, but I feel like I have more to talk about if I watch more episodes. Then I watched two episodes with Cloudy, and I didn't have anything about that one. 
fifth one, yeah, kind of well show I think it's an average. I think I got more in terms of appeal for, I like Billy Dilly, I think a little more to it than something like Bunkin. Go on might get more of an audience, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, yeah. This show, even if you like it, they're not gonna be. I don't really like the cloud community, but they're like not special, not something I've really watched a lot. Um, you know, you're catching up with Cloudy Movie is one I don't think they're gonna routine pick. I think the potential, but it's like, who I can really one? I'm kind of curious. I'm, when I call before you go, they should make two of them at some point. And they already did. I can recommend two D animation. First, my bad, I really like the animation. They basically in the movie translating to two D. Which make perfect sense. Yeah, I think that style was a little better for 2D, and I believe in the credit, at least the first movie, they had the Matuti drawing, and I think it looked really good. And, um, and so I think the storyboard looked really good, so it, it here looks really good. All the character designs look exactly like we should. Um, the uh, Mavis and Dracula. Dracula, they still have a good Gacka like Adam Candle, even though boy, where he didn't appear. Gung, um, I'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, and the guy, and, uh, you know, again, but they still make him look like like him, which is kind of weird. They didn't change the vine. But I can't keep Doug any pair that much anyway. I'll talk about that one in a bit. It's fine. But, character design wise, the only thing I find weird is with some of them side characters like Frank Nine and the Mummy. Um, they no child proof in this one, sorry. <laughs> um, and the Mummy, no invisible man or that. The Wolf Man. Well, the Steve Buscemi character Ian in there, but maybe it'll be in our episode, I don't know. Um, uh, we had to shut up, no thing going on, they're probably clean, I don't think they'd be able to get any of them. <laughs> no, I mean, that's that fine. Um, oh, well, Cameron Dagger popped up on the official news channel, which is important, it's called Cameron, by the way, but, again, the full screening, they couldn't get them fine, and then they got mostly good placements, um, you know, the character kind of Frank Dine and Mummy look weird. Frank Dine, they both look a little... Well, Frank Dine got... The Mummy got a backward hand off for no particular reason. Frank Dine, he looked like a teenager. Even, you know, and... Which I think kind of weird, even though he wasn't in the movie. Um, um, and that could be one odd thing with Timeline. Now, Cloudy, you know, will go pretty cool. And this one, came two, I didn't know until I watched it. You know, I should know, because Jonathan didn't get any of the preview for the you know, weekend. He you know what he found, so I'm assuming it's going to go pretty cool, unless something happened to him off screen. <laughs> um, very good kid, I saw in the, the promo, and I'm assuming that might be very kid they had in the Kaka movie, but no, that's just some other random kids, so I'm assuming it's going to go pretty cool. Again, unless something happened to him off screen. <laughs> <laughs> and Dawson cut down nothing in the Kaka movie, so it's like, um, you know, um, but whatever. Again, I don't think they're going to be pretty cool. I guess maybe going out, because they're doing the first movie, I don't want to do things that, the more to make sure that I can tell them, which is some show do it, but DreamWorks show, uh, at least the TV one. Uh, but Dragon One technically can for me to make the more technical movie, which will not play. So I'll get an anime for Ken. The Penguin here, you got Ultra Cat movie entirely, but we'll play table at least after the first movie. Um, and the Cuff Panic Turning, I don't know. I don't know where continuity takes back. I don't think that's the first movie, but I guess maybe for one second, which I believe will recently come out when that aired. So, for this one, it'll fall on pretty cool. They don't really explain, basically, the plot that Dracula is off doing something, by business trip or whatever. And they've been kind of caught in charge, but become Dracula and go to protect that again. Decide to get him, Kimster, who was evil. To, you know, keep an eye on Mavis, and now Mavis got to sort of run and keep the shape off and not tricking off the evil aunt. And that kind of a cup you have. You know, um, and, you know, and this thing one will show that is relatively typical. I mean, it does a lot of stuff you kind of would expect, especially in the first episode where they have a hotel review person who come over and they worry that it'll get a bad review, so we have to make sure thing of shape, and especially when a kid comes by who kind of comes. You know, basically what do you bet, um, but kind of because a little more reasonable, basically with her, she finds a doll in the attic, which it took out to be an evil doll, and they're going to run gag about how a commercial for it, basically out trying to fact that it's evil and no one noticed, which I find funny, um, um, you know, um, I mean, 
book. Going back to the timeline thing. Is Vic supposed to be when Frank Diner was maybe a teenager? Because he had the back of the catalog and one cat was a little teenagerish. I think, I mean, maybe like in the movie she would be like 18,000 or something. Um, so she technically found your goal, but in the very early would be like being a teenager. But I, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't think it really matters. Cold Clutch, but then maybe don't quite feel like we should, but that's fine. You know, but I will say you have all the playful characters, but one of them the best is Mavis. I do have to battle it when we go in, but she's still a really good job. And I follow with someone I knew, but I don't know anyone. None of the names stood out to me in terms of the main voices. So credit on her for being a good placement. As far as the um, even though Dracula is off you know, where he appeared periodically in flashback and it seemed like from video he was appearing more in flashback. And he appeared for a little bit in, I believe, a second episode. And, um, and the placement does fine. For the full three time I get, he's not fine. It's clear that I'm Chandler, and that'd be the only time I came back a bad thing. But it's fine. Um, you know, you know, and, and, and I, anyway, the second episode I think was a little more better. And the kind of that it had more interesting plot and more you plot, more you need to the show. And not kind of typical plot, just a monster game. Although, the league were kind of like that, and they were kind of typical boring and plot you have seen out of movie, just the monster in them. And sometimes I think it works pretty well, and other times it's like that kind of cliche. But they're probably a whole lot of movies, but I think it would be better if they had more original concepts in them. Okay, I got to take proof and give it out, like. Okay, so there you go. I'm talking about it there, Sean. I have uh, the channel at the moment. <laughs> um, but the, anyway, so I don't mind typical Nick and some aspect. It's just that, oddly enough, I will say they really keep true to the spirit of the movie by being very energetic, very a lot of jokes going around, which I actually think is sort of a pro and a con and a pro, and it can't have a lot of energy, so you really not too boring or anything like that. But a con in that I think it had a little too much energy. Especially in that first episode, it had so much energy. It was constantly moving, and it kept up really well. But because of the plot, it kind of had more opportunity for that kind of thing. I don't think it was much of a problem. Um, and that animation is really good. I, for, yeah, for what? Not great animation, but it looked it true to that period of the It's very fluid in terms of what it's trying to do, but I feel like it all got too much energy. They go go fast. It's not like it's really too loud, but there's a lot. Every time I get there, like it moving fast. Even when, even when it gets, like cooking, kind I of have more scenes where it's being a little more still, but not too much. And I feel like that can make, I don't know, that can big fit be all you can kind of be looking like because we're going like go not that the plot go by fast, but there's a lot of like, I don't know. And even kind of, I think kind of the episode, it kind of don't, because it's like, okay, we get it, it's all legal, she won't leave, he's being dropped doing weird, and kind of it's just like, okay. It's only a minute, but it felt a lot longer, it looked a little longer. For time, I feel like fit perfectly on the minute time, it's, you know, and that is the thing, it is, some people will really get into it and think it's pretty funny, and I did laugh, I don't think I groaned, well, I'm going to take a selfie. Back only about it. For some reason, I didn't think Hotel Transparency was here. Auntie <laughs> came in here to ask me if I watched Hotel Transparency here yet, and I told him, I'm doing a plug on it. Go, yeah, I have. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm Auntie Pentecostal Pink Pearl, but I noticed. Um, um, kind of wish I owned the movie for reference, because why well, I did when I did with Tangle, but I don't. Uh, I'll buy it, pick up them at some point. I've seen them around, they're very cheap, but I don't have it. Very uh, well, um, you know, guys can. But yeah, I keep going into, you know, getting into it because of energy and some people being turned off because it. Some people, I like it Red Cartoon, but some people have the king playing about Monks of the Beast and that can be really loud, it's really off the wall, go, you know, this one's not loud, but it's sort of quick to where you want them to slow down. And the movie did slow down, although that's because it's a movie and you just went on a happy character moment and you really got to really about that kind of thing. One odd thing I look at, they had a new character, this sort of blob female friend that maybe can have, which is that typical kind of character who can go, like, oh, I'm not sure about this, maybe like, you shouldn't get wrapped up in this, and yada yada. 
new character never seen in the movie, from what I know. And they removed a few characters from my opinion that well uh, seems they're gonna appear like I said. Uh, I don't know, maybe it will be in a replica, but the team should be Frank Stein in the mummy here. Um or whatever they call the movie. Um I would uh, I feel like the prequel thing is a little limiting because I, again maybe it's the Kobe for me coming out but whatever grant you can have for the third movie that you know like I don't know I know that they're playing to the story where do you go from here I don't know um yeah but but we'll see um and, uh, of course no one would love the movie apparently love it not you know, the or whatever again I kind of wish he'd been there so apparently it could be a little book control he don't kind of do that, like in that thing, lad. But, um, oh well, um, <laughs> but I've got to keep real big, you can't keep at the moment, guys, probably. Yeah. I do, I hear he is still going to be involved in the third movie. Um, <laughs> but, um, I've, I've got a little talk about it. I've got to wait see what you get. Either you'll get into a manga energy and a couple of or a couple of like put off a set that is kind of generic and not much that special. But I've got a lot of killy cartoony show out there, and, and it's like that, and a lot of shows are going for more like whack around now. They could have one be more super you know, energetic. I think that's cool. But I do like this a little. I like the clown theory, and that, that can just go average, go stale. It can go okay. But I kind of wish it was bad, so it could give me something to talk about or give me some feel. This one I at least got a genuine, like, good laugh at, and I did think I genuinely appreciate like, I genuinely appreciate animation. It's cloudy and Fine, but it reminds me of other shows. This one, I think, is more unique. You know, and again, I mentioned I really like the person with Mayla. She does a great job, I think. Um, but, there go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I only have seen she and Dracula, too, but can we got it? But maybe they got the best of them. Only have Dracula with a fair character. <laughs> again, I think I'm kind of a good job being that bad. Straight manager won't pull up if anyone crap. <laughs> Um, and maybe, particularly in the second movie, too good. Um, a couple people are okay with those sponsors, probably, because a lot of people don't like them. He's fine, but, um, so maybe it's a good thing in that community, but I feel like they would have a pretty potential. Because, you know, pretty cool, I mean, you know, what kind of, but nothing really matters. It's probably made for, you don't need to clean weed, understand it, you know. They do a good job of tricky to the concept, you don't need to keep it moving. It's a pretty cool, so you don't need to. Well, overall, these are two episodes, they're fine. They're alright. They're enjoyable for what they are. I like them a little more than some of the other show, but I feel like in some of the Billy had just more of a personal stamp on it, and I feel like I do think the show could improve, and kind of that I feel like it's probably better when it the energy is more well controlled and the story is all more interesting. You know, yeah, yeah. But to an effort of code, it got story we came before and they had to get out of the way. You know, and um, 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 of, again, there's a certain thing from, you know, the movie, I think they can incorporate it, everyone got a prequel, like, they you know, in the first movie where they show them to a human, and now a human can come and foretell, but you can't do that because it's prequel, you know what I mean, prequel, pretty cool, being prequel cool, has to be limiting, and I don't think you want that TV theory to go to movie theory like that, which I could be, do a lot of great things. But, um, oh well, I feel like that's not too big of an issue. Come back, my recommendation is if you like the movie and you're open to it, then you'll probably enjoy it, but I doubt it's something that's gonna really stick with you. You know, I, again, I keep comparing to Clive Kennedy, but it's so much better than I get that more energy and it's more laugh, so I keep on liking it. I, keep, I don't think I'm gonna hate it. At work, you'll be like, eh, you'll forget about it. For real, it's totally comfortable, and I feel like it could improve more episodes, and I'll at least watch the next bit a few episodes that they do, and I'll. If it's think about the game, then it's think about the game. I can, I don't have watched any more Billy Joe yet. But, um, I've managed to give up the game, but improve a little bit, you know, so. I recommend watching more than one episode at the moment, you know, instead of just the one. You know, can, if you don't watch it by now, you should probably watch, you know. Again, I don't, if you don't watch an episode, you're not making anything. I think, you know, I feel like you're better off reading. I think the next book or two might be the Duck Tail reboot. But I don't know, it might be something in between that. And that's a lot to care about the game code. It's trying to go over content, it's not a lot of game code, even though it's kind of dull kind of I thought it was funnier. Um, both had such a cool deep and joke. I like some of the lines that the character can have, and I like, yeah, the commercial for the doll. The doll itself is fun too. 
and you know, I think you're particularly hilarious, but they're some good laugh, and if anything, I won't get really annoyed, bored, angry, or anything like that, it was just that first one, I'm like, my god, there's two energetic, I feel like, yeah, there's so much going on, the second one, I feel like, okay, we get the joke of the point, getting a little bone, but, I spent a lot of time talking about the movie, and comparing it to other things, that's what you see what you get, next, should have watched that second half hour, so I could at least have two things to go off of, but, yeah, I'll get it because alright. I feel like if you want something simple entertainment, then fine. And then you don't need to have seen the movie, although having seen them and liked them is probably a good place to start to know. Because again, kind of, kind of 2D and some people think the energetic style of Agwell TG, you might have looked a little more. Um, I feel like the kind of style looks a bit better for 2D, and I think the TG looks pretty well. So, so there you go. Um, I tell you, like I'm kind of usually a good thing. Oh, who, who went next? Great cooking like the theory. <laughs> uh, Jack and Jill the show. <laughs> so I don't gotta watch it. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I, I got. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, it's all right. I keep saying that a lot, but a lot of times it's just all right. On the higher it's all right because it's got some laugh, but but I feel like. You watch it, nothing will hurt, you know, but give it a chance, but I'm not really, you're not looking at anything if you try not to watch it, so, there you go, so next vlog will be the Saturday with the new, um, Crunchy Girl Special, and then after that, the next Crunchy Girl Special, and I believe nothing until Penny Girl will come back, but I'll do the dog for that, Scott Keegan, and of course there is a missing my little thing, so I've got stuff to look forward to in the coming months. Bang well, whatever next year we're doing. I believe that we do. I do want to do coming back, not going to just remain that at some point. There have probably been some shows on Crying Central and Frock, whatever, but no one's really talking about them, no one's go. I don't really care. I just do think I think we're fun, too, okay, what I think. But looking back, you know, in hindsight, we could coming out just trying not to be on long because there's that much, okay? I mean, if I watch, if I watch, with that because of Justin Gatch and Cloudy when they came out, I would have done a vlog. Maybe it leaps up to the action because I really liked that pilot, but Cloudy, eh. But can I have a pong if you can have one? Then we got more game with Cloudy because that one had nothing to pong or negative, eating against it. Um, and I can't bring up because of that one this one. And I don't think I watch more rap. But I'm curious to see where the show goes. I'll watch a few more episodes and I probably won't watch that much more. Um, I have not watched much of Bumpkin because I watched that when I. Maybe. I'm bad more than I watch that than that point cloudy. I get bashed on the show, but it's not get bad. It's just that I wish it was bad. I wouldn't get what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm just going to see you for the special. Bye.